uh, the distance here, Stonehenge. I think I'll say that uh, if he's looking at all the cars that are going by Stonehenge, it's kind of hard to imagine. I kind of look at the roads down there and wonder, gee, I wonder what everybody makes of this. It's like driving in a circle. It's almost like the roads go around the circle, like a circle around the circle. wondering exactly what this, uh, you know, very likely this was a temple of some kind. I mean, why would anyone build something like this? And uh, it could have been a marriage rite or a death rite or a sacrificial place. Could have been a meeting place of elders where they came. It seems to me that this could have been more likely to be something like that. But then on the other hand, why would the, according to the tape that I was listening to on the bus coming up here, the effort to bring these stones here for the people, unless they had some strange devices we don't know about, would have been so much effort that you think that to get these things here, it would have to have a super special purpose. Because why would anyone drag these super heavy stones from one part of England to another part of England, unless there was, you know, so, I mean, you wouldn't just do it for anything, you know, and it would take, you know, almost a lifetime to drag them, a half, you know, 20 years, or whatever, to drag them as long as it could. So, you know, I can't imagine anyone would have bothered, you know, being life as it is. Unless they thought this was some super special purpose for these things to be here. So I take it from all of that, that there must have been some very strongly religious, uh, spiritual whatever reason why anyway. I mean, more than what the stones are, I believe the reason these things are here is because somebody must have, must have really, really, really thought that this was important enough enough people to drag these stones all the way across England. Because um, I think they're pearl stones that come from another another place and it's just would have been like dragging them hundred, a couple hundred miles in with no wheels apparently. So I don't know how. It just makes you wonder why someone would do that, why they would do that. So it must have been a very important thing and odd and out of place. And as you see here, the sheep really don't care what about anything about these stones. And uh, I'm still thinking the need to walk around this a couple times just to understand what I'm looking at. But I wanted you to see it the first time through my own eyes, Stonehenge, as I'm still rolling around.